Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we'll take a look at how division is related to multiplication. At the end of this video, you'll have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content being presented. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching this lesson. An inverse operation is one that is the opposite of or undoes another operation. Multiplication and division are inverse operations. Students can use arrays to help them model the inverse relationship between multiplication and division. They may also use multiplication facts they know to help them solve division problems. An array is a diagram or the use of counters to place the same number of objects in each row. Counters are small objects that can be manipulated by hand. Let's take a look at an example of how division is related to multiplication. Students may be shown an array that looks like this and be asked to identify a multiplication and division equation that can be represented by the array or model. When looking at this array, we notice there are three rows of four, or three groups of four, which would be represented as three times four equals 12. We can reach 12 by counting all the small circles. The inverse, or the division equation, that would be represented by this array would start with the total amount of circles, 12, divided by the three rows, with four in each row, resulting in an equation that reads, 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Students could also give the total of 12 divided by 4 columns equals 3 in each column, meaning 12 divided by 4 equals 3. This strategy helps students to make the connection between multiplication and division and ultimately the inverse operation. This is so valuable because many students will grasp multiplication before division. Relating division to something more familiar like multiplication can help ease the process of learning. Once students have a conceptual understanding of division, we should encourage students to solve division problems by using their knowledge of multiplication facts. To solve 12 divided by 3, students should think 3 times what gives me 12. The hope is that eventually students don't need the visual representations. Once they're able to fluently and accurately recite their multiplication facts, it should in turn help them to quickly identify their division facts. Students may not use an array correctly when solving a division equation by miscounting the amount in each row or column. If this happens, ask them to recount and label each row and column. Students may also recognize the numbers that belong in the division equation, but may misplace them. For example, they may see that there are three rows with four in each row and 12 total counters. The student may present this as three divided by four equals 12. If this occurs, remind students that when we divide, we take the largest number and divide or split it into smaller equal groups. So that equation should read, 12 divided by 3 equals 4, or 12 divided by 4 equals 3. To gain a full understanding of this concept, visit the lesson page to view the rest of the Understand Division set of lessons. You'll find lessons focused on modeling division, which will help to establish a solid foundation. Students' knowledge of multiplication should help them to gain a full understanding of division. To enhance this connection, you may want to review our Understand Multiplication set of lessons. In later grade levels, students will continue to build on their knowledge of division through dividing larger numbers. It's important that they develop a strong conceptual understanding in third grade. Uniting students and families in learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.